Hello there, YouTube land, and today we are talking again about Mystery Science Theater. <clears throat> I thought that uh, they deserved to uh, get their own, uh, basically, uh, type of movie, so we're going to type of the movies and the DVDs, the presentation itself. Uh, like I said before, I cannot get the Wild World about one note, but I will tell you that uh, it was done as, okay, did I write that one down yet? Yeah. It was episode 5, it was season 5, episode 15, it had Mike... And uh, back then it was a run release, so uh, it would be done with the uh, original movie without the uh, MST3K aspect of it, and it would be sh uh, there would be uh, another Nico watch with MST3K. So uh, watch it with MST3K, just trust me on that. And it had a short called Cheating on it, which was uh, pretty cool. Wild Woman about Woman is uh, very different, and <laughs> it's not Batwoman as you would think her in the uh, comic book series. This is very much a different character. So the first one I got was the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Essentials, and I'm pretty sure uh, TJ Pyramid has this one as well. <clears throat> and uh, it's like me, this is a uh, kind of a go-to fun one to watch a lot, and I kind of watch this one a lot. This is a two-disc set, and it has, uh, again, it's the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, Rhino Edition. I'm not sure right now if this one does have the branching of both versions of the movie, but uh, it does have the Mystery Science Theater versions, which is the ones you want. Um, Manos Hands of Fate is long, but <laughs> it just seems that way. Actually, it's about uh, oh my god, there's a man and his wife, and there's a dog and a son or a daughter. It's been a long time, it's kind of like blurs here, and they go for the longest drive known to mankind put on film anywhere and end up at this uh kind of this house this uh mansion uh where we meet Torgo who's uh you just gotta see this movie Torgo uh, there's actually a really cool podcast called uh, Torgo's Pizzeria or something like that and uh It's, anyway, it's uh, Torgo, the character from Manos. Manos is one of the most ineptly bad movies you will ever see. And I would challenge it. Challenge Troll 2 with Manos, Hands of Fate. I seriously would. It is that bad and that good when you're watching the MC 3 k version. Uh, of course, that one was done by uh, Manos. Was Manos was? Which one was Manos again? Ah, season 4, episode 24. So that's Joel. And we, and we got the short hard on this one, hard part two. On uh, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, which is the other one on this one, it's, of course, uh, that's one of the first appearances of Piazzadora. Uh, we got the uh, cheesy robot from, in the, and this is actually the robot in the movie, guys, that st helped steal Santa Claus. Uh, Martians steal Santa Claus because Mars children were uh, basically rebelling and uh, they needed a Christmas. It's horrible, and it's horrible in all the ways that a mystery science theater movie should be horrible. Uh, great film, and again, it's another Joel, so... This one here were actually two, uh, two Joels, I think. Because I'm pretty sure this one was... Yeah, this uh season 3, episode 21. So let's get on to the next volume. Um, volume 16. Uh, this is a Shout Factory volume, and what I really like about this has got some really neat stuff. Uh, first off is, of course, we're going to type it the Corpse Vanishes, and uh, we'll take it up for you so you can see it. By the way, these all have uh, kind of like thin posterized versions of their, co of their covers. As well, now this one here is uh, a Ben Lugosi. I'm sure you guys have all seen uh, this movie in some format before. Uh, Pretty cool, and this is an early one, I think. It's the season what now? Season one? Yeah, season one, episode five. So we're talking back in the uh, uh, way back when uh, when Earhart was on it, and uh, it's got pretty much a really early, uh, really early Tom Servo uh, design. Looks different. Very cool stuff. I mean, like this is an, this is an early one. This is one of their uh, first seasons with uh, Earhart in it, and uh, I just really like this one. Uh, I like most of the Joel stuff. I like the Mike stuff too, but I prefer Joel. Uh, just the humor was kind of
kind of a, a little bit more me. Uh, but uh, they both did a fantastic job. And a few more sci-fi than a, a lot of people have heard my name. Next up was, uh, okay, I had another one from, a, what was the other one? I can't remember except from Joel. Because I want to do these in the right order. Hmm. I'm, I got them all up on screen there so I can see them when I'm, when I'm going through. Ah. Season 5. Episode 1, right? Yep. Season 5, Episode 1, one of the greats. And it is War of the Lost World. Uh, War of the Lost World is fantastically hilarious. I love this movie. Uh, Robert Ginty is in this. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in this. Uh, just a really cheesy post-apocalyptic movie done back in the day. You just you, Seriously, guys, you really haven't seen War of the Lost World. That's hilarious. And the uh, Talking Blake and again, this is a uh, this is Joel. This one here, except as a bonus feature, a new interview with the uh, director, David Worth. So you know some of these guys could actually have a had a good sense of humor with the fact that they were being uh, kind of made fun of. Next up would be uh, kind of I guess you would say Mike's <clears throat> answer to. Uh, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. For years, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians was probably much considered their uh, their Christmas movie. Uh, and a lot of people still consider that. But I consider this to be the definitive Christmas movie for uh, MST3K. Santa Claus. Uh, crap little features on this. There's a 50-year retrospective on the Santa Claus Conquers the Devil. Original Santa Claus trailer. Original radio spot. Stills gallery. Teaser trailer for The Wonderful World of Kay Gordon. Murray and Color Scope. I mean... Honestly, this is truly one of the best ones. Season one, this one again. Uh, season 5, episode 21. Yes, yeah, when Mike was just coming in, he was really follow, firing on all cylinders. And this movie is hilarious. Uh, basically, you're going to see the most horrific version of Santa Claus you can ever imagine. As uh, Santa Claus fights, uh, basically, Pitch, who's pretty much a, a demon, like a devil. When you see Santa Claus's Reindeer, you will be horrified. And his eye that sees all, and his kids that watch this movie. It is fantastic. Um, next up is Night of the Blood Beast. And this is one of their, uh, basically their uh, Thanksgiving ones. They actually have the Turkey Day version here on here yeah, as a bonus feature. There's the Turkey Day version, the uh, Turkey Day 95 intros, and of course the original Night of the Blood Beast trailer. Now, uh, I love these covers here by Steve Vance. Steve Vance does all the covers of Mystery Science Theater, by the way. Uh, again, just another kind of really fun, cheesy science fiction movie. Ned Blood Beast is uh, season seven, so we're strongly into the uh, into uh, Mrs. Forster at this point, and basically we're getting it. Is it season seven? No, we're, yeah, she's in it at this point, I think, but I, I still think Clayton's around at this point as well. Hmm. I know we're still at Clayton at this point, because I know we would get Forster, uh, we could miss Forster afterwards. But, uh, again, this is the sci fi uh, channel ones. Pretty cool stuff. I really, really enjoy these. And of course, they all have posters, which I would normally show, you know, stuff like this, but, uh, I'm running out of time. I want to get to my favorite one. The next box that I bought is the uh, 25th anniversary edition. And this was epic in many, many ways. And I'm going to get into that if I can ever get these uh, things in here. First off, this is the uh, the only one that I know of that uh, actually has uh, six movies on it. I think Gorgo had five, but uh, this is their biggest one. And i got to say, it is a wow. Yeah, we're starting off this one with Moon Zero Two, which was a Hammer film. So yes, they even riff Hammer. Uh, There's actually an introduction by F Hammer film historian Constantine Nazar. Uh, Return to Eden Prairie, Part One: The Crew, and theatrical trailer. Return to Eden Prairie is a uh, big documentary done on uh, Mystery Science Theater. Just in case you're wondering, and uh, cannot wait to uh, get into this one. I haven't watched these yet. Some of these I remember. Uh, Moon Zero Two, I don't remember quite as well. And, uh, is this one one of the other ones or not? I 
şey lan değil mi? Özgün çekti sonu ya. Hmm, sık gel bir anda ayrılmadı. Nasıl tabi sonu ne? Nasıl ne demek ki? The day the earth froze. Don't remember this one hardly at all right now. It's uh, Joel one though. Again, um, it's got the second part to return to the prairie on it. Location has got the MST hour wraps because he did an hour line version of the show as well. And a theatrical trailer. Uh, next up we have, because I want to get to the most important one actually. We have Leech Woman. And uh, this one is Mike, right? Yeah, Mike, because it's uh, season 8. The uh, just very cool, like cheesy jungle sci fi type movie. Just, I got a kick out of this one here. Uh, again. We got uh, Return to Eden Prairie Part 3, the final part to that one. And Life After MST3K with Mary J. Pell and uh, Theatrical Trailer. Uh, Mary J. Pell was the one that would take over as Mama Forrester. But the most important disc in the set here, and what makes this so such a big set for a Mystery Science Theater, is that this has three on it. The first off, it has Gorgo, and Gorgo is fantastic. Uh, it's a cheesy kind of a... Uh, England's version of a Kajai and uh, the coolest thing is that this one here was actually only shown on TV twice uh, somebody came out with like rights issues he had to take it off here and this was one of their big ones with like a big deal Leonard Malton came in and did uh, played himself he kind of parodied himself in this one here as well just some very cool stuff and it's great to have it back on Mystery Science Theater label to finally see it again this was only shown twice uh, so it's fantastic the next feature here is Mitchell. Mitchell, by the way, was recently named by Mystery Science Theater, the so Ship Factory, as the top Mystery Science Theater film of all time. And I gotta say, it is one of the greatest. Uh, for me, the greatest is what they named number five, Pod People, and I don't have that one. Uh, but this is definitely one of the greatest films that they ever did. This will be the last appearance of Joel Yule. We'll not see Joel after this until, well, we get, he has one more kind of small appearance. But uh, this is his last full appearance in the episode. And uh, the first appearance of uh, Mike J. Nelson, the character that would take over from Joel. Uh, the Brain That Wouldn't Die is also on there as well. This is a fantastic episode and one of my all-time favorites. And, uh, again, great, great stuff. Uh, Brain That Wouldn't Die is... Uh, is Mike's first full episode and he does a fantastic job. Now remember, Gorgo is on one disc, Brain the Wouldn't Die and Mitchell are on, on another disc. They're not all three of them packed on one disc. Uh, their bonus features on the uh, Gorgo one. Ninth Wonder of the World, The Making of Gorgo, MST3K edition. And Leonard Malton explains something. You just gotta check that out. And a theatrical trailer. And uh, this five, which shows Mitchell and Brain the Wouldn't Die, that has the last, last flight of Joel Robinson it's got to be pretty cool, and it's got a, I don't know, I haven't checked that out yet, and an interview with Mary, Marilyn Nelson, just some really, really great stuff, and although I'm exhausted, and I need to get some sleep, do you know what, before I go to sleep, while I'm uploading this video for you guys here right now, I'm about to go and check out that uh, last flight of Joe Robinson, thanks for watching guys, and this has been my MST3K uh, uh, videos, I don't have a lot of them, but I just wanted to share what I got, and hopefully in the near future, I'm going to grab some more, thanks for watching, and for me right now, it's time for tea.